Hello, I am the narrator. Before this episode begins, Maddie will be talking about a very holy weapon that was only used in a movie. Without further ado, let the show begin. Good morning, everybody. My name is Maddie, and today we're going to be taking a little break of Pokemon, just for a little bit, and we're going to be diving straight into the Fountain of Youth. Now, we have yet to find the Fountain of Youth, but when we do, ho ho ho, babies will be the new apocalypse. What is it? What does it do? But what is the Fountain of Youth? Well, the Fountain of Youth and or the magical water has said to reverse time or make you younger. Now, um, way back when, before the tigers smoked, there were stories all over the world that the fountain of, uh, about the fountain of youth, like in Japan. There were stories of a magical hot spring that could heal all wounds. Or in Greece, there was a magical river that could give you more life. Can it do multiple things? Are there any stories of this? There were a few stories of how some treasure hunters would spend most if not their entire lives trying to find the fountain of youth. But they never did. And one story we're going to be talking about is Ponce de Long which was after Alexander the Great. Now, he is a Spanish uh, treasure hunter who decided to go to Florida to find it. Now, um, his conquest uh, started in 1493, which if you don't know how far back that is in time, that was whenever uh, Columbus found the New World. He sailed to America for the first time. Yeah, yeah, he was on one of those, like, I think the second boat. And he sailed to America, went to Florida, and he's like, Alright, I'm gonna team up with these Taino Indians. And he did. Found them. And in 1504... He actually got into a high rank with the Indians, and he was one of their governors. It's impressive. Then in... did I say 19? 1504. My bad. 1504. <laughs> he was governor of the Indians. Sorry, I was like, oh, jeez whiz, that guy's old. <laughs> um, then in 1512... He was actually given permission by one of the kings of the Taino Indians to dig up, to have permission to dig in one of the islands called uh, Bimimium, Bimimium Islands. Super hard to pronounce. Um, so he did. But for about 11 years, he went back and forth to those islands and to England, all while doing this without telling anybody why he was actually there. That's right, at first no one knew he was looking for the Fountain of Youth until a couple years after his death. Um, but he covered his true passion for finding the Fountain of Youth with a lie of colonizing. That's right, he wanted to start bringing his people to them. Nope, nope, uh-uh. <laughs> Look at the Fountain of Youth. What time period was this used? Where was it found? The Fountain of Youth's, uh, st sorry, the Fountain of Youth stories are one of those really, really old stories that you hear about. And to my guess, it w probably somewhat started in the 4th century BC. And it died a little, and then it started to raise back up interest in 1474 when Ponce de Lin first heard about it. And his quest to find the Fountain of Youth eventually died in 1521 when he died when uh, he was killed to an arrow wound. 
Yep. Um, now, something you have to keep in mind. Fountain of Youth. Some people say that it's actually something you can find, and some say it's just a legend. But for the people that do think you can find it, like the Spanish Explorer and Alexander the Great, there have been rumors that you can find them find it, sorry, in England, um, Carry Island, uh, Canary Islands, my goodness, Polynesia, uh, Japan, or in the Caribbean. What is it known as today? Questions? Way back when, in 1819, the Americans actually started to get pop up interest in the Fountain of Youth again. And that is when one of the artists named Thomas Warren actually painted this painting of Ponce de meeting up with the Indians for the first time in Florida. Which, this painting is actually located in Florida, um, in a... Uh, small town called St. Augustine, where it is also possible that they have the real Fountain of Youth there, you can see. Wowee! Been a long, 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 long time since I've asked questions, but I have, in fact, not one, not three, but two questions. <laughs> I think that was a voice crack, but don't worry about it. All right, the first one. Where did these uh, Fountain of Youth come from? It's the story about it. Um, well, there were a lot of stories that were like manipulated and changed over time to actually create, like, it was a fountain. But some would say it started off as a river, or the rare river of paradise. Okay, second question is, uh, was there anything else that Ponce de Leon was looking for? Yes, actually. Um, he was also on a side quest to find gold. If he could not find the Fountain of Youth, he would at least have something else valuable that he had found. So his quest wasn't completely useless. But he found neither. He went home with neither gold or sightings and or the actual Fountain of Youth. He died empty-handed. Yep. So, unfortunately this video has in fact come to an end. It was a little bit more shorter and or raw -er video of just simple me. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed. If you are fascinated by the Fountain of Youth, or links in the description that go more into detail about all the information we found about it, uh, please leave a like, subscribe, and have a nice day. Good night. And now, the editor's favorite game. Finding the bloopers. And now we found them all. You're welcome. Play. Will Smith? <laughs> As you can see, my condition has gotten worse. <laughs> uh, what is wrong with this camera? Ah, that's what's wrong with the camera. Ah. Okay, there. Now it's shorter for my expertise. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was so awkward. Molly, are you good? Do you need some spices? Hey. Cat! <laughs> That's such a terrible trick we t taught our dogs. <laughs> Give him a minute, they're going through something. <laughs> he started his adventure way back in 1493 when the New World was first discovered by Columbus. That's right, he, he was all the way back when we first found America. That's how old the Found of Youth stories were. I mean, gee whiz, if I didn't know any better, they were probably around the biblical time. BC. What? <laughs> <The b> <laughs> uh.
Uh, yeah. Nim Islands. Bindimin Islands. Ugh, that's like trying to say an anemone. An anemone, an anemone, an anemone. You're my anemone. Bimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimimim